We want to protect something called responsible procreation. We want to drive procreation into a stable relationship. And, and procreation only happens between a male and a female. Because you see, a male and a female can do something that a homosexual couple cannot. They can create children accidentally. That's the issue. It isn't about love. It isn't about romance. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. My name is Zach Walls. I'm a sixth generation Iowan and an engineering student at the University of Iowa, and I was raised by two women. Uh, my biological mom, Terry, told her grandparents that she was pregnant, that the artificial insemination had worked, and they wouldn't even acknowledge it. It actually wasn't until I was born and they succumbed to my infantile cuteness that they broke down and told her that they were thrilled to have another grandson. Unfortunately, neither of them lived to see her marry her partner, Jackie, of 15 years when they wed in 2009. My younger sister and only sibling was born in 1994. We actually have the same anonymous donor, so we're full siblings, which is really cool for me. Um, you know, and I guess the point is that our family really isn't so different from any other Iowa family. You know, when I'm home, we go to church together, we eat dinner, we go on vacations. Uh, but, you know, we have our hard times too, we get in fights. Um, you know, actually my mom, Perry, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2000. It is a devastating disease that put her in a wheelchair, so we've had our struggles. But, you know, we're Iowans. We don't expect anyone to solve our problems for us. We'll fight our own battles. We just hope for equal and fair treatment from our government. Being a student at the University of Iowa, the topic of same-sex marriage comes up quite frequently in classroom discussions. You know, and the question always comes down to, well, can gays even raise kids? And the question, you know, the conversation gets quiet for a moment, because most people don't really have an answer. And then I raise my hand and say, actually, I was raised by a gay couple, and I'm doing pretty well. I scored in the 99th percentile on the ACT. I'm actually an Eagle Scout. I own and operate my own small business. If I was your son, Mr. Chairman, I believe I'd make you very proud. I'm not really so different from any of your children. My family really isn't so different from yours. After all, your family doesn't derive its sense of worth from being told by the state, you're married, congratulations. No, the sense of family comes from the commitment we make to each other, to work through the hard times so we can enjoy the good ones. It comes from the love that binds us. That's what makes a family. So what you're voting here isn't to change us. It's not to change our families, it's to change how the law views us, how the law treats us. You are voting for the first time in the history of our state to codify discrimination into our Constitution. A Constitution that but for the proposed amendment is the least amended Constitution in the United States of America. You are telling Iowans that some among you are second-class citizens who do not have the right to marry the person you love. So will this vote affect my family? Would it affect yours? Over the next two hours, I'm sure we're going to hear plenty of testimony about how damaging having gay parents is on kids. But in my 19 years, not once have I ever been confronted by an individual who realized independently that I was raised by a gay couple. And you know why? Because the sexual orientation of my parents has had zero effect on the content of my character. Thank you very much.